morning welcome back to another weekly vlog very busy week this week which i'm very very excited for it is five to eight i just woke up i'm actually heading to pilates this morning i don't usually go on a monday morning because i like to just start the week with the work but this is like the only time that i can squeeze my third session in this week so lots actually going on this week eight pilates to go to and then i have a bridal makeup trial on wednesday with sash which is very exciting i have the newlyweds live podcast at the asc which i actually think is going to be really really fun and loki stopped listening to their podcast a few months ago but i actually think it will be really really good and it will actually get me back into the swing listening to it quickly do some skincare just gonna throw on my little cost coat today instead of my big one because it is quite sunny i do think it'll probably be like semi cold but that other jacket is warm and i'm gonna do my little ganny beanie because you would not believe how cold my little head gets i shall see you when i'm back because i have to leave my camera to charge hi we're back i just quickly jumped in the shower and did my makeup there i used the new rare beauty blushes that i was sent in shade happy really really gorgeous i thought the, the shimmer might cling to my texture a little bit but i actually think it looks really nice and then obviously the matching liquid as well they were a lot more pigmented than i thought i was going to be there's going to be a little video on my tiktok it'll probably have gone live like two weeks ago because of when this will go up now i'm actually just going to start filming god i'm wearing road and rare together how do we feel about that also do you like my new robe it's got little bows and bubbles all over it it's the new one from sheriff avenue mike bought it for me as a wee present which i thought was so cute we surprised we love her the jeff avenue robes are the best they are expensive but they're so so worth it they wash so well and wear so well hi so it's now two minutes to one why i keep doing like time stamps but I'm just having my little midday snack my yogurt and my blueberries it was good i managed to get lots of filming done and you know it's just so much easier to film when the sun is out it's not like really really difficult and you have to have like a million lights on so wait until we live somewhere that it's just sunny all the time we don't have to worry about that kind of thing but i'm just gonna film a little bit more i'll film until about three o'clock i think and then i will edit i have been using the grace beverly daily planner since the beginning of the year i used it early last year and then i kind of forgot about it but i am absolutely loving this i love getting everything written out and like out of my head outside out of mind if you're looking for a diary of some kind or like a daily planner check grace beverly release website because it's really really good oh just went out and took some quick pics this is the fujifilm xt30 mark ii so you just have this little app on your phone which is so convenient where you send yourself the pictures and they like instantly come to your phone because i know a lot of film cameras i know this is like a digital film camera but not a lot of film cameras that you have to go and get them downloaded and stuff this was such a good investment this is definitely going to be part of my april favorites this month that is for sure i've been absolutely loving her hi besties once I have the images on my phone, I like to just go through them, give it an edit, see what we have to do. I took these. I was trying to give like office siren. I actually think they're quite cute. So I'm not really sure how I feel about the capris yet. I think I like them. I think they just have to be styled perfectly for me to enjoy the look of them. But excellent that we got those done. I My plan wasn't to go out today. My plan was to go out tomorrow. But it's meant to literally rain all week. So I was like, if I need them done, I need them done. I sit here and edit and then I'll take my makeup off. And then I'm actually going to have another shower. Even though I showered like six hours ago. But I just want to feel all warm. I feel like I've been cold today. Cold after Pilates. Tomorrow, Pilates again. Then filming. Then I'm going to my mum's for dinner. Just nipped out the shower. I just thought I would show you this new robe I've got. I know I literally just spoke about the Jeff Avenue robe. But this arrived in a PR parcel from CeraVe. And it is the softest robe in the entire world. The Gerf Avenue ones are way more like toweling. I really like that. I think especially in the summer and the spring, I really, really like the toweling. I love the way that it washes as well. The toweling looks great after a couple of washes. This is from Soho House. Into her bougie robes, okay? But I am so impressed with this. It does have very, very, very long sleeves, which I am a huge fan of. Massive, massive, massive. I just can't believe it's so soft. Like, is that picking that up? It's just the softest thing ever. So I'm swearing to myself, I will never wear this if I have makeup, body makeup, anything. This has to stay pristine. Well, let's see how long I can stick to that. My vlog of choice for doing my skincare was Amelia Liana. I love her vlogs and TikTok. Recently, after my chemical peel, which I had last vlog, I have been having the worst dry skin around my nose. Like, truly it's like the Sahara Desert over there. I've been using the Cisaplast Balm in like targeted areas because I think like using it all over your face I don't think it's actually good for you. Oh my god it's made such a difference. I applied it literally five times on Saturday 
and I really feel like it made a huge difference. My makeup actually sat on top of it this morning and didn't go all that weird way. Also, I literally just finished um, Zoe Suggs, or Zoella. Zoella's new vlog, introducing her new little baby Novi. So cute, it was an hour long. Loved every single minute of it. Zoe's videos are just like home to me. See, because I grew up watching them from like the age of like 12. I just absolutely love her. So that was excellent. Love that so much. Love her content. Like I'll still consume it. Even though there's people I definitely relate to more prefer, I still love it. I still swear by it. Gonna head to Pilates again. I'm so sorry I didn't pick up my camera after yesterday. I was actually so tired and I left my camera in this room. And then when I went to go to bed, I was gonna watch my at first sight, but then I just ended up reading. Better today, I promise. Today, I'm just gonna get ready for Pilates. I'm gonna grab a little coffee and something to eat. It's so grey this morning, just as well I went out and grabbed some pictures yesterday. Sorry, the kettle's just boiling, but I have really taken to listening to episodes of like Call Her Daddy and interviews that I wouldn't have necessarily listened to. This is Brittany Snow, obviously Pitch Perfect, John Tucker, Must Die, etc. But I wasn't gonna listen to her interview because like, I don't really know much about her. Obviously, I know that they had that scandal with her husband that was on like selling, selling OC or something like that. So I just decided to listen to it. I'm only like five minutes in, but it's actually very good. And I've been really enjoying listening to episodes of things where I don't know the person. Because usually I would have to know who the person was, you know, to really be interested. I'm on the new vibe now. So in the morning, pre-Pilates, I tend to just have a coffee and a little bagel. You know, carbs are our friends. Because I just can't stomach to eat in the morning. I'll probably come back and have eggs and maybe some yogurt but in the morning like to keep it at a minimum and i don't want to be like in any way full pre pilates but i also don't want to be hungry and then i feel like i'm going to keel over also such a shame but this morning is torrential rain that's super super helpful it's annoying because the steps from my house to pilates basically tackles my steps for the day if they're not done when i walk to pilates that means i need to do them at some point See how we feel. Last week, Mike took the car. We just had a bit of a miscommunication. He could have taken the other car. And I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And I had to walk to Pilates in the pissing rain. I was so soaking all the way through my leggings when I got there. I had to dry them under the hand dryer. That'll never be happening again. A little, little bagel. Just updating my to-do list for today. And we're about to leave for Pilates, as we can see. But I was just doing an order for my summer bikinis. And I always, for like three years now, bikinis from It's Now Cool. They are the best bikinis. They're the most gorgeous designs. They're actually, in my opinion, some of them are quite reasonably priced. Because when did Frankie's bikinis get to be £200 for a top, £200 for a bottom? None of that, absolutely not. I'll not be paying that. It's now cool, it's so so good. I love the fit of their bikinis. I always buy the same bikini style in like a million colours and a million patterns because I want the same tan line. And I hate when you've got like mismatched tan lines and things like that. If you're looking for good summer bikinis, it's now cool is absolutely the place to be. This is not an ad. This is called the Saledo Slide Tall Tri Top Multicolor. You are joking. So gorgeous. I just thought that was so cool and I have the most gorgeous like beach covered up dress that I really want to wear on holiday like for the wedding week and I just thought that would be perfect for it and I'm so excited. So yeah, if you're looking for some bikinis, so cool is the place to be. We're here. She's here. I don't know about anyone else but I am physically incapable of driving with a hat on. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. I feel like my peripheral vision is blocked. So we're going to go to Black then I'm gonna need to go and get this car, this car some petrol. When I stop in a cafe, you know. I currently just switched over to Sevilla and Chintia's Shits and Gigs episode, which is good. I'm 11 minutes in. Anything with Sevilla and Chintia in it, and I will watch it or listen to it or intake it at some point. Michael and I actually on a Saturday morning, Michael sometimes listens to the girls' bathroom because he thinks they're really funny. So Michael and I have actually taken to on a Saturday morning is watching like lots of Sophia and Chintia's old vlogs, like specifically Coachella, LA, Mykonos, all those good holiday vlogs that are just the best vibes in the world. Let's head on in. We have finished and we have also secured the goods. Nero, the ice pistachio lattes are the best thing to ever exist. So that's what I always get. I always get Mike a uh, sugar-free iced soy. Lati, fucking mouthful. <laughs> I've finished my steps and just nipped in the shower there. I've like done a super deep exfoliation around my nose. That's why it looks so red. I used the Zo skincare. It's like a super gritty exfoliator. And because I have my bridal trial tomorrow, I'm gonna do a little Garni moisture mask. I love these masks, they are the best. God, it smells insane that little rub in to start with. I always like to take the excess over my lips and then 
down my neck. While we have this on, let's just do the rest of my body care. Put on a bit of a Garnier hype today. This is the Garnier Body Superfood. This is the Cocoa and Ceramide. I go between this or the Dove Body Care. Then I go in with my little cuticle pen. Bit of hand cream. So as you can see, it's dried down much more now. So we're just gonna take it off. Just rub the excess into the skin. My nose definitely feels much more hydrated. I'm gonna go ahead with some Cisaplast around that area though, just to make sure. I am just gonna actually edit these vlog clips that you've just seen. I like to break it up so I'm not editing it all at once. Um, it makes it much, much more palatable. Then I'm going in with the Versed Silk Slip Conditioning Lip Oil. This is a really, really nice one. I'm now, because I washed my hair in the shower there, gonna head in with my little Eucerin Scalp Treatment. Now let's go ahead and figure out something to wear to my mum's. I always like to be comfy. I'm not ever trying to impress her. So these are some of my favourite joggers ever. This wide leg grey set. They're actually from Aritzia but I really like them. They're really comfy. Love the big thick waistband. Then just going to throw on my big cherry t-shirt. Scent wise not going too crazy. Just going to go in with this little Prada one. Just arrived at my mum's, picked her up some flowers. I, me and my mum are big Lilies fans and Sainsbury's petrol station Lilies last forever. They're so, so good and they're like six quid. So picked her up some Lilies. Gonna head in now, stunning. Cannot wait for my dinner and not have to think about it or cook it. Hello, she's so excited to see me. So excited he can't even speak to me. Do you know what, Mac? This is Mac. Just, yeah. I don't think. <laughs> He's like a little rabbit. He just jumps about all the time. This is Mac. This is my family dog. Um, I did live at home when we got Mac, but obviously now I don't anymore. So he's always very excited to see me. So what did that angst? Do. do you even go to your mum's for dinner if she doesn't send you home with foods? Just going to head home now. Also cannot believe how bright it is and it's 7pm. Crazy. Thank the Lord. Thank you Mr Sun for putting your hat on again. We're now all tucked up in bed. I'm just getting ready to read my book. Last night I got so engrossed in my book I went from chapter 30 to chapter 50. These books are big. Let's see how far I am through now. 64% done. Really enjoying this. I feel like the drama is ramping up. There is more of like a proper storyline that I truly 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 care about now if you're looking for like a romance -y book i feel like this isn't it like i'm thoroughly enjoying it really 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 loving it probably as much as i love dakotar no romance really like really when you come to think about it and i believe there's the tandem read loki so scared for so scared tandem read and then i've got one more and then that's me tomorrow morning we're up early bright and early sash and i have our makeup trial appointments so i'll definitely take you that and film that that wears over the day see if there's anything we need to change very excited so good night good morning how are we all doing it is 25 past eight i just got up had a shower quickly I'm wearing something that's like low so you can like so I can apply like body makeup, etc. I get a full feel for the makeup. Having a little coffee and waiting on Sasha. I think I'm just going to head to Nero just now and grab us both a coffee for the journey. It's only like 25 minutes away, so it's not too bad. I'm so excited for today. I actually cannot wait to get a full feeling for how my face will look on the day. It's crazy. I feel like it's just coming around so, so fast just now. I'm just gonna write Mike a wee note because I won't see him before I leave. I got these little cards from Coach in a PR parcel at Valentine's Day. So it comes with like the little card. It comes with like a little red envelope, which I just think is the cutest thing. So if I, sorry, you just cut out there. I had to go onto my laptop and get rid of all the garbage that was on this SD card. Just pop that note through in Mike's room. I'm gonna have this little coffee here, head to Nero, come back, collect all my stuff, and then we're gonna be on our way. Hi! Hi. How are you guys? We're here. We've got our coffees. Ooh, Cheers. Nearly finished mine. Gosh, I know, I'm I know. Really so slow at drinking that. <laughs> They're the so good though. Deciding what pictures we want to use to show Emily today. Show yours. Yes. So Maxine, a wee shout out for you. I really love Maxine. your makeup here. So stunning. Love the base. This Love everything love about it. Everything is just gorgeous. That's the base that I want. Just That's gives just flawless. So, it does. It really does. It's so smooth. No, so airbrushed. Really like what are you doing lip wise? Because that's quite a dark lip. Yeah, I think maybe more like a sore matte pinky. Oh, okay. Like, kind of yeah, thing. no, I get you. I you get know? you. I get you. This is the picture that I'm going to show. Maybe not quite as dark around the liner. Like, maybe not quite as black. Is that black? I it thought, looks like black to me. Let us know. I think this girl really looks like Ava. I don't. I really see that. <laughs> 
I say love the, the lip, love the eye. We're gonna go with that today. Quite cool toned, other than going warm. Sometimes I think when I put warm on my skin, like yeah. a like a you know like a terracotta nude. Yeah. I'm like that doesn't suit me. I get you. You know. I know. Some it's like when I use a too pinky foundation, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. needs to be olivey. Even though I don't think I am olivey. No, no, I get you. It's always how annoying is it when. You come home from a night out and your makeup's so nice. I know. Yeah, I know. It's all set it's sat in your face. Yeah. Do you ever remember using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation? Yeah. And oh. it was and it used to oxidise to yes. the point where you would look like a fucking tangerine. Yeah. It would look so mental. I remember I was thinking about the other day, you know what it was like I don't know what it was, but it was in like a little mousse, a mousse foundation and it was Wait, so grey. Was it in like was it in like a pan? Like a pot kind of thing? Yeah, and it was, was it not like, like a was it not like a rimmel? Was it like Rimmel? Yeah, like a Maybelline. Something like, it was one of those ones, it was one of like and in that category. Oh, Graham, we all loved that. I know, so funny, oh. so funny thing back on. We're just gonna head in now. Out, we're finished, we have both of our faces on. We got our makeup done. We're very happy. We Overall, are. I feel like we're very happy. I think we just yes. have to see, one, how it wears, and two, maybe slight changes, but I think that's inevitable, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, no, I just want to be more tanned, but that's a me problem, I need to get No, I think it's tans. lovely though, I yeah. love the skin. Same, it's so smooth, so airbrushed. So airbrush. gorgeous. Love the, uh, yeah, the skin's just amazing. Same. I think our eyes yeah, are actually quite similar. Yeah, yeah, in definitely, a way, yeah. Um, you've got the kind of under. Yeah, and I've got like more of like in here. Yeah, but I'm glad I tried the both, the eyes. I tried a wee smoke yep. more and kind of a wee plain. So we kind of realise in between. Yeah, I think that's I think that's best. And then I think I'll just change the colour of the lip liner. I think I'll bring my own lip liner that I really like. Yeah. And then I'll know that I don't have to worry about the shade of the lip. But yeah, apart from yeah, that, yeah. we're very happy. And I'll wear it all day yeah. and see how it goes and I'll check back in later. Okay. I'm back at home now, so we just grabbed the waggers. We took pictures on this camera when we got our makeup done, so therefore my camera died. I had to come back and charge it. We also went and grabbed some cocktail cans, etc., for our little trip to Manchester next week. But I thought I would give you a little pre mark haul. It's mostly just underwear. I won't lie to you. Two packs of like super comfy, cozy underwear for just chilling in. And I was really trying to find skin colored underwear. So I literally bought every skin colored thing they had in the shop. So I got these ones. These ones which have a little skin color pair here. And then I think these might be the best option to be honest because they're nice and thin. I think these should be perfect for me. We'll see. I bought two pairs of those just in case I have backups, you know. And then I also bought this, which I thought was quite a good option. And that was it on the underwear front. Spent like 40 quid on underwear, but it's worth it. It's only my wedding day. Also picked um, up some little reusable cotton pads. These are the best. Then, low-key kind of niche, but I'm into my flip-flops this season. I got two pairs of flip-flops, one black and one brown. These are literally a pound. You can never go wrong. I also feel like see a black pair of flip-flops with a wee French manicure some jeans and like a black waistcoat. So cool and so effortless. Thought just for around the pool on the honeymoon, these would be rather cute. Then I picked up three of the Garnier face masks because I used that yesterday and absolutely loved it. So picked up these from Superdrug. And then to help with the dryness around my nose, my sister-in-law told me to get this Optimum Collagen Superdrug night cream. She said that it was really, really good when she had a little bit of dry skin. So, so just got that. And that was all I really picked up today. I did want to get a sweater to wear with my outfit down to Manny, but I think we'll just do that online. Some bits also just got delivered from Fourth and Reckless, so I thought I'd show you those as well. First we have the little Fourth and Reckless socks. These are the best. Then we have this shirt. I believe the trousers, the matching trousers are being sent out separately, but so gorgeous. A little high neck white waistcoat. I'm just literally obsessed with this. I think this will be so, so gorgeous on the honeymoon. See, with like little striped trousers. And I also love the fact it had white buttons and the buttons weren't like black or brown. And finally, this little dress. It's got this like scrunching, ruching material. It's just a little bandeau. And then it goes out to a little A-line maxi skirt. But I just thought again, honeymoon, lovely tan. I thought it would be perfect. Makeup check. I feel like the makeup still looks really good. The only thing is we've been walking around in the rain and like the hot shops all day. So I do feel like it does look worse than it would look if I'd just like worn it for a while. I think obviously it's not looking great around here right now, but that's my fault. Apart from that, it looks really good. There are a few elements I want to change. I want to bring my own lip liner. We're going, we're going quite well. With that this is like no top ups no powder and it was done it was done at half 10 it's now five o'clock so i think that's a good running time and i'll have topped it up at the wedding prior to this so i feel like that's a good sign get my makeup off now because i'm one of those girls that I just can't sit with makeup on just can't do it i'm like get it off my face so i'm gonna take my makeup off nip in the shower feel a bit grotty and then have some dinner because i'm absolutely starving about to head to bed it's about 10 pm i just watched maths which was good Loved it very much. And I'm just gonna head to bed now. I am still 
still reading my book. Tomorrow I'm up early, gonna get to the dentist, home, help make with some work and then lattes, there's some work up and then we're heading off to the newlyweds pod which is very exciting. Morning, how are we all on this fine Thursday morning? It's probably not Thursday for you. But I just got up this morning, I had a quick coffee and I'm actually just going to head to the dentist just now which is very fun but it is an appointment I am actually excited for. I booked in for some teeth whitening. Outfit of the day, my shirt is the one from yesterday from 4th and Reckless. It's such a nice structured shirt. These little Zara jeans on and they've got the turn ups at the bottom. Let's go to the dentist. I am truly physically incapable of being just on time for things. I have to be into 25 minutes early. It's ridiculous. So, waiting in the car park. But uh, I'm just going to sit and do some admin now. So boring. So, going to book dinner for the five of us in Manchester. I think I'm just going to book Australasia. We had had discussions about booking Peter Street Kitchen or Sexy Fish. I just know Australasia is reliable and I know it's so good and such high quality. And I feel like I would truly be missing out if I went down to Manchester and didn't go to Australasia. Our home, I'd literally just quickly got changed. I only arrived like 10 minutes ago. Quickly got changed as I'm going to eat and then head to Pilates. Just gave my teeth a scale and polish. I feel like your mouth always feels so clean after a scale and polish. And we took the impressions, so I'm going to go back for the trays next week. So, Pilates finished like an hour ago. I just came home, had a shower. I'm going to start my makeup now. Listening to the Sit With Us podcast with Ella and Dominica from Maths. I don't actually usually listen to this, but Ella just got married, so I wanted to hear all the debriefs about getting married. First, I'm going to start off with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Serum. In the road glazing milk. I'm actually very excited for tonight. I don't really know how I was going to feel because obviously I haven't really been listening to the Newlyweds podcast, but I actually think I'm really going to love it. I'm going to take the C Slip Tint Concealer in number three. It's going to spray some Hydro Drip. So yeah, very excited to see that. And then tomorrow morning, early at 9 a.m., I actually pick up my registry dress. Finished, completed. Isn't that literally terrifying? I really feel like the girls at Eleganza have honestly outdone themselves. We originally had a vision, and I will talk more about this after the weddings because I've recorded literally every single thing that we've done, the making of the wedding dresses, so I'll definitely be sharing that after. But I had a vision of what I wanted in my head, and then it kind of turned into something else once we'd actually made what I thought. But I truly, I think it's better than ever. I think it is so, so gorgeous. Yeah, that is the plan of action tomorrow. But after that, at like 11, I think, I'm actually going to get my nails done. I'm sure everyone is sick of me talking about my wedding nails, to be honest. I bet everyone's sick of me talking about my wedding, but I don't care. That's what's consuming my life right now, so that's what this vlog will be full of. I have been trialing almond-shaped wedding nails for months now. I think I did my first trial in December. December or January. This is my first set of this year that's not a wedding trial. This was just because I was so tired of neutral nails. But I actually saw a picture of myself like two weeks ago from Santorini last year and I had shorter but rounded sides. So like squoval, I think is what you would call them. Neutral biab nails. And I love them. And every time I have neutral, short, I'm just like, oh, this is so me. It's so classic. I just feel like it'll never go out of style. Sometimes I feel like these are my real nails. Like these biab nails are my real nails, but they look like fake nails because like they look like acrylic to me because they're so long and like the shape of them. Does that make sense? Tomorrow, I think I'm just going to take the plunge, cut them short and do them plain. And that's what I'll just have for the foreseeable. Try this Rare Beauty blush in shade Hope. So I don't think I would ever regret the short. But I think I might look back and be like, ugh, they weren't even me. Like, I didn't even wear nails like that. So, that's my plan of action tomorrow. We have Sunset Blush, this is shade Rosa. We have Brow Sculpt for the brows. And in with the trusty tweezer mints and then the Vive Modern Mascara. Such a trustworthy mascara. She's never failed me once. And I'm just heading around with the MAC Lip Liner in shade Oak. Since my last video, this has become a firm favourite. That's not Oak. <laughs> Where is she, girl? This is Oak. I feel like it's not super pigmented to start with, but then you can really build up how pigmented it is. Go in with the Rode Peptide Lip Tint. This is in shade Ribbon. Add a little bit of Fix Plus. Let's do jewellery. So I'm going to wear these little knot earrings. These are from Marks and Spencers. My little Cartier Panther Mini. This ring from Sumero. Have my little pinky ring from Rachel Entwistle. My star ring from Etsy. This 
ancient top shop ring on my thumb. We say my engagement ring. <laughs> and this little stack is Thomas Sabo and Rachel and Whistle. And then two rings that look so cute together from Asha and Me. I'm gonna get some pasta for dinner, which I truly can't wait for. I haven't had pasta in so long. Just charged my Kindle for my reading tonight. I will finish this book if it is the last thing I do. I got to some really big stuff last night and then my Kindle died. So I've got an hour and a half left and I will read it tonight if it's the last thing I do. If I need to stay up till 1am, I will. We're just going with the same base that we had on earlier, just changing a few things just to dress up a little bit. The fourth and reckless shirt. We were gonna go like kind of dressy, but I really just don't think that's the vibe. Then gonna go in with my burgundy mango loafers and some white socks. And this Topshop blue checked coat that I've had for plus years. I bought it in store in Topshop, that's how long I've had it. Then my little Vivian Westwood tartan baby. I'm actually gonna go for the Kylie Cosmetics cosmic fragrance it's nice and light Lip gloss hand sanitizer purse ready to go and i'm gonna take my camera i probably won't take the sand because it's a bit clunky ready to go give us a wave <laughs> everyone how are we all i'm going to pick up my registry dress from elianza finished done which feels absolutely mental i'm so so excited i it was basically finished the last time i saw it and tried it on to be honest we just had one little tiny tiny thing to do i can't believe it i'm literally so excited to do that this morning and then and then my nails have actually been changed to tonight so we'll go and do that together that's at like 7 p.m and then in between i need to help us make with some work and i need to do lots and lots of lots of admin and yeah that's it for this fine friday so let's get going So, just picked up three of my garments. So, my getting ready outfit and my registry dress and my evening dress for the destination. We've still to do some last finishing touches on my ceremony dress, but we're almost there. Three out of four have been collected, which I'm so, so excited about. I literally can't cope. Had a quick call from my nail tech to say that she actually can take me at 11. Just quickly went and dropped the dresses home and then I have scooted over here. I'm gonna get my nails done and my toes done. Very badly need done, I'm not gonna lie, and I am desperate for a change in shape. So I know I had been on that mad journey about trying to find a good wedding nail, but honestly, I'm gonna go short and cute again and bare and just like very neutral and nice i think that's what i've decided anyway i don't really love the almond anymore i'm bored of it i want the short and square back and i think i'll just stick with that for the foreseeable so that's what we're gonna go and do today and we're gonna get a little french on the toes so let's go so just got home from getting my nails done we went back obviously to the little short square and i love them Truly, I love them so, so much. I think they're just so much better and so much more me. So like the cuticle work and all that, and he's always just insane. So obviously you saw me collecting my dresses. The ladies at Eleganza actually put together a wee box for me, which I thought was so, so nice. So I'm gonna open that just now and them um, with you guys. So first thing we have is this diffuser. Now, if you've ever been into Eleganza in Glasgow, you will know that the smell of the shop is literally insane. I literally walked in the first time and I was like, what is that? Someone has to give me a candle of that right now. It's so, so nice. It's so fresh. And now just reminds me of being at my bridal appointments, which is so nice. And the little matching candle. Love it. This one's like a lemony, citrusy. We have a little congratulations card from Eleganza, which was so cute. And a little tester of the tan luxe little tan serum and a little sewing kit literally just saying to the ladies just before we left after they gave me this like oh i'll need to get a little sewing kit just to make sure everything's fine and that's exactly what i've done body tape apparently this body tape is meant to be like excellent and it's like bridal body tape i'm pretty sure and finally just a little polaroid of me going to collect my dress so now i'm actually going to edit this video that you've just seen uh, plan my week for next week and then that's basically me I have been on the phone to be a customer service for 40 minutes now. The girl was so helpful, she couldn't be any nicer. Just British Airways are truly being the biggest pain in the arse. British Airways are being worse than Ryanair. I had to book an extra seat for my wedding dress on the flight back from the wedding and it's like it has to fit in certain dimensions. I'm like, okay, well, it's just a bag full of clothes. So if it's not the right dimensions, I can just fold it over it's only got clothes in it it's not a door it's not like a wooden door you can't fold like i don't know what you want me to tell you like the dress is no bigger than me therefore it will fit on the seat does that make sense like 
it is truly driving me insane. How did any other brides, how did any other brides fly with BA? This is the third time I've had to call. First time, the guy put it through wrong, so therefore it wasn't approved. Second time, I had to send away for approval. Third time, they've come back and said it's not again because it doesn't fit within the guidelines. I'm like, it's a standard dress bag. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, it's, it's an average sized dress bag. Like, it's honestly driving me insane. I was meant to be editing this vlog that you're seeing, but apparently I'll be on the phone to BA for an hour, so. Hi, past night. All tucked up into bed. Last night, I didn't get to read my book because I was literally so tired by the time we got home. At half 11 by the time I like was getting to sleep and I was like, I'm just so tired, so I didn't read my book. Ignore that segment from like 15 minutes ago. But I'm really gonna finish it tonight. I'm really gonna tackle it. So, yeah, I think that is where I'm gonna close this vlog off because I feel like a Saturday and Sunday, I'm just trying to chill, trying to be as low-key as possible. And I feel like that's a good, that's a good place to finish. I feel like it's been quite a busy week done quite a lot thank you all so much for watching this video if you got this far thank you very much and i hope you all have a gorgeous day evening week whatever you're up to